right, here we go. This is Brandon here from the Old School Game Vault. And we're going to start off with The Legend of Zelda. So everything's new. Our character has nothing. So we're going to start our journey from nothing to completion. So first things first, we got to go in the little uh, cave right where we started, and we got to get the sword. Once we got the sword, we can continue on our journey here. <sighs> so I'm going to try to squeeze Dungeon 1 and Dungeon 2 in this first video of the series. So here we're going to go on our way to, uh, we're going to go on our way to level number 1. thing about when you have full hearts in this game is your sword can throw. Now I just lost that. Engines to level one. Just like all dungeons that you're going to see in our, uh, in our little gameplay here, uh, they're all going to look the same at the beginning. This is kind of the area where you respawn, uh, generally, you come back to here. So right now we're going to start off. So we have our uh, keys. We need those keys to open these doors. Basically, it's a, you know, when you get over here, it's a door that's uh, got a little keyhole, so we need one of our keys to open it. There'll be similar uh, keyholes throughout the game. So to find the little keyhole is very important. Also, what I did there is uh, I had the fairy run around. Basically, the fairy uh, refills your energy. Um, I like to leave a heart or a fairy on the board until I actually kill all the, the particular enemies on the board, just in case somebody knocks me and I lose uh, part of my health. That way, I always have a you know, heart or a fairy just sitting there if I need it. This guy right here, this is basically a clock. Uh, it stops time on the on the screen. So basically all the enemies on the screen can't move, but you can. So in a room like this, basically we can't get out until we defeat all the enemies in the room. Once we defeat the enemies, the door opens back up. Here's another locked door right up here. This is another room um, that you'll find out in a lot of the dungeons, or actually the overworld too, where you actually have to push something to make a door, you know. You gotta discover things, I suppose, if you will. Uh, this guy just tells us some basic information about where the end guy is. Because right now we don't have a... There's a thing... You pick up a map and you pick up a compass. Um, and that tells you pretty much where to go. The map shows you the whole dungeon and the compass shows you where the end boss is. Right now we don't have that, so that guy's kind of giving us some information.
Alright, so here we go, we have the map here. So this basically tells us where we're where we're at. Generally I like to go explore all the all the all the levels and ah you son of a biscuit. And I died. So we'll just hit continue real quick. The only bad thing about level one is we really don't have, uh, we're not well, you know, we don't have any shields or anything. got the compass I was telling you about. So basically that marks, I think it marks where the Triforce is at. I think I'm wrong. It marks where the Triforce is at, but basically the end boss marks is, is where the Triforce is as well. Ah. right there. I apologize for dying twice in the first level. But we'll get it, we'll pull it around here. here. I really kind of want to see if those hands will give me like another another heart. So I'm going to wait it out here a sec. Okay, if you're not careful, these little hands take back to the front of the, le the front of the uh, level. So you just gotta be careful of those little hand guys. So this is the first level boss. He's pretty easy. We're gonna hit him with uh, hit him with our sword. And then we're gonna grab the Triforce here. So that's the first level. First level is Zelda. So like I said, we're going to do the second second dungeon two. I'm going to come up here and put on the boomerang. I don't like to walk around with bombs because a lot of times... 
lot of times you're not careful, you'll use a bomb on accident. So that's the other thing too. We have no shield. So we get lit up a lot. The other cool thing about Zelda is they have a bunch of, uh... There's a bunch of secrets in the game. What I mean by that, I mean, you, you find money, you find potions. All sorts of stuff throughout the game. And so we're gonna get there. as well as you can throw it to pick up stuff. So it comes in very handy. Alright, right now we're going to use our bombs. Like I was telling you. The game has, uh, find secrets along the way. So basically what we found right here is another uh, heart. So I always take the heart. So we get more hearts in the game. Cause the red, the red ball to the left was called a, like a medicine, and we can get plenty of that. Hold on, let me look at the map here. See where we're at. Water beast, man, always gets us. So here's kind of what I was telling you. Um, we're gonna score some money here. So he gives us thirty, uh, I don't know, thirty dollars, thirty coins, whatever. And we're gonna buy stuff with that, with this money. Basically, what I want to do is get to get a shield, so we can have some protection. So we're gonna come up here while we're while we're over here. And we're going to get this scroll here. We show this to the old woman. And you're able to buy uh, medicine. So that always comes in pretty handy. And that goofy... Uh, We're gonna come back here, and we're gonna. Ah. There he is. <clears throat> we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna pick up this uh, hundred coin guy. He always comes in pretty handy. Basically, we're going to save that up for the blue ring. We'll get the blue ring stuff in a minute. We'll probably get that when we go to the third level, but now we're going to mosey on down to the second level. I figure since we're up this way, might as well, uh... Might as well fill up in some goodies. These guys right here, we're not going to mess with too much, because we don't really have the armor or the shield to, uh... the shield to defend ourselves against those uh, little arrow throwing gentlemen. Okay, so now we're at level two here. Once again, this is pretty much the respawn, uh, what the respawn area looks like. So basically, we're out in the, uh, when we're over the overworld, we're just getting a bunch of money. Which is going to come in handy. These guys are these little snakes. They run down a certain path at you. These little snake guys are kind of nice because they'll, uh, they're pretty 
pretty easy to defeat. So watch these guys will come down here. They pretty much give you money. And they're pretty easy. Many times when I played this game, I uh, come back to level two just to get money from these snakes. These are pretty nice to get a lot of money from, or coins. We got a keys here. We got two keys, which is nice. Good factor with the boomerang is you can kill these little things. So here's our compass for the level. Yeah, the boomerang is definitely a, a useful little tool. Later in the game, we'll get a silver boomerang, which can go across the screen. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. We got the map on the upper left uh, side there under level two. We have we can see what we're doing. Like I said, those little snakes give us good good coinage. I think this is where we get the silver. Maybe. Long. We got the silver boomerang there. A little unexpected, but it's a good surprise. Silver boomerang, yeah. Goes all, all across the board. Come on, diagonal. He comes in pretty handy. Especially if you like throw your sword at somebody. That's how the boomerang comes in handy, especially with those bats. Now these little guys, generally, you gotta watch them. So it's always good to be on a straight line there to get past those little, uh, I'm not sure what they're called. But... Wouldn't be Zelda without a little lag there. Actually a Nintendo game, I suppose, without a little lag. Alright, so we got a fairy there. Like I said, we'll leave her flying around. I mean, we really don't need her. But we'll pick her up. She looks cute. So really fall in love with this boomerang because it comes very handy. You know, killing the little pesky uh, monsters throughout the game. Okay, here it says, Dongo dislikes smoke. <sighs> if we go forward a little bit, Dongo is going to be, or if I say it right, I'm not even sure, but he is going to be the end boss here that we're going to 
face. So basically the guy's telling us uh, how to beat him. Smoke. Bombs. Uh, we can only hold, I think, yeah, eight at the maximum. All right. So this guy dislikes smoke, so we gotta put a bomb on him. So what we gotta do is fill him up with a bomb, just like that. So that's the second level boss. He is finished. Come over here, we'll get our Triforce. So just a little recap here, we just finished the first two levels. We're getting a Triforce here. We got 223 coins, which is great, because now we're gonna go out to start level three. We're gonna grab ourselves, try to get the blue ring, or at least gonna get a shield, um, and a few other little gadgets. So I'm Brandon from the Old School Game Vault. I wanna thank you very much for watching The Legend of Zelda. This game is very special to me. And by all means, uh, if there's something else you wanna see me play, uh, tweet me about it. I got the tweet, uh, or I got my Twitter account in the comment in the little uh, more section below the video. Anyhow, if you like, smash the video. It really helps me out. Um, hit the like button, please, and uh, have a great day. Come back and watch uh, Dungeon 3. Dun, 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 dun.